Got a pair of those and don't know how to install them? No worries, I have no idea as well. But let's try anyway. We'll need a wiring harness. It comes with battery connector, relay, switch and a fuse. All other things we'll need to solder by ourselves. We'll use waterproof connectors, since the bars are exposed to elements. And we'll need a T-shaped connector to connect two wires into one. Also we'll need soldering head shrinks and regular head shrinks. Last but not least is the switch. Let's start with soldering connectors to the bars. Put on the soldering and regular head shrinks on the cables. Blue wire goes with black and red goes with brown. Apply heat to the first soldering shrink, then another and regular head shrink on top of them. Our connection is secure. Now we'll do the same with the harness and T-shaped connector. Black to blue, red to brown. Let's connect everything to DC power supply and test. Beautiful work. Our LEDs will be exposed to elements and jealous neighbor eyes. We need to make sure that everything is waterproof. Let's submerge it in a bucket of water. Everything works, great success! Now we will mount the LED bars on the roof. Secure the cables with zip ties. Fit the cable around the corner. And insert it into the dedicated space between the body and the windshield. Thumbs up for Suzuki for making this groove. Now fit the cable through this gap into the engine bay. Here's a great spot to put our relay. There is already a relay box which is being held by one screw. And we will reuse this screw to attach our LED bar relay. A small tip. Put a magnet on your tools so the nuts and bolts won't fall off. Unscrew the screw. Insert it into relay's hole and screw back. And now the trickiest part. How to move the switch from engine bay to driver's compartment? Turns out there is a hole in car's firewall, which is sealed by this grommet. Unseal the grommet. And feel the cable through the exposed hole. We will find the cable behind the pedals. And here is our switch socket. Grab it and pull inside. Remove the buttons panel by pulling it towards you and to the left. Now put the switch into the panel. Insert the switch plug into the socket that we pulled in earlier and put the cover back in place. Reattach the grommet. And the final step is to connect the LED bars to car's battery. Positive wire to positive terminal and negative wire to negative terminal. Red to red, black to black. Secure the wires with zip ties. Now push the button. Unbelievable, my friends. It was a long journey, but in the end, we came to a great success. Outstanding journey.